Have you ever caught yourself telling yourself, I'm not good at this in your business? In anything, really. If you keep telling yourself you're not good at this, guess what you're gonna be? Not good at this. You, you have to tell yourself a different story. So my son, when he was four and a half, did not like drawing out his letters and his numbers. He was just learning it, right? So they, they bring home uh, homework and it's got like these little dashes for A, right? You gotta take the thing and you gotta trace the A. And my son hated doing it, hated doing it. And I think to myself, why does my son hate doing this so much? And I heard that he was telling his teacher, I'm not good at this. Oh, it made me so mad. I was like, I want to drive down to school and said, okay, how'd you respond to my son telling you that he was not good at this? Did you breathe positive energy into him? Did you encourage him? Did you tell him you may not be good at this now, but we're gonna work on it, we're gonna get good at it? Or did you just like put him in the corner? So I take matters in my own hands. So I'm thinking, okay, how do I link something he doesn't like doing to something that he does like doing? And then how can I get him to see that he could actually be good at this? So my son was really into Legos, still is. He's a Lego maniac. And uh, one of his favorite characters out of his Lego movie was this character called Metal Beard. It's always talking about Metal Beard, Metal Beard, Metal Beard. Okay, so I went online and I got a little picture of Metal Beard. And I tried to replicate what his homework looked like and just have it say metal beard. So he's got to trace over the M, then he's got to you know, trace over the one and try to link the two together. Associate something that he doesn't feel good about with something that he feels good about. And isn't that kind of what you need to do with your career? You're associating the struggle, you're associating with sucking at something with pain and I don't like doing it and it's embarrassing. How about linking it to pride? How about linking it to, oh my God, this is gonna be a great story. I suck at this now, but I'm getting better at it. And when I'm really good at it, I've mastered it. This is gonna be a great story to tell. All the, the only difference is what you associate that experience with. So I take it home and here's, I swear I'm like, I get like teary-eyed every time I watch this little video clip now. Who does Metal Beard's name start with? M. M, that's right. And now you're doing E. Good. Good job. And then T. Good job. What's the next letter there? A. A, good. And, <laughs> and then the last letter is what? what is L. It? L, good, I yes. I think you're good at this. Yeah, you were good at this. I think I'm good at this. It's the first time I ever said that. First time I ever said that. So I gotta link it to something positive again. Right, so his reward for doing this is okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go buy you metal beard. It's all fired up. Right, next day we go hit uh, Toys R Us over in Tustin. No metal beard. Son of a. <laughs> Let's try Target. Go to Target. No metal beard. You gotta be kidding me. So he's all bummed out. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, don't get bummed out. Just because that store didn't have it, just because that store didn't have it, doesn't mean that a store doesn't have it. We never give up. I just say it with me. We never give up. He says, we never give up, Papa. He says, that's right. Let's go to the next target. Go to the next target. No metal.